How's it going, guys? Hope y'all are doing great. This is Evlog coming to you live and welcome back on another episode on Boruto. Now, will this upcoming episode be the last episode that will end this Squid Game little arc? That question, I don't know, because I want this little arc to end as soon as possible so that we can finally get into the code arc. So, without further ado, Let's check out the next episode and see what took place. Yes, 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 yes. Towards the end of the, the previous episode, Boruto stood by and waited because he had some things that he wanted to clear out. He wanted some things that has been to 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 confirm certain things that has been bothering him deep down. Because he believed that Kisuru is working with Olga. And from the looks of things, it looks like it is true. Right? Because everything now is pointing towards Kisuru. I just want this episode to end, man. I mean, this little arc. I just want this little arc to finish. So that we can finally, finally, finally get into uh, the code arc, you know. And I was also contemplating if they will show us what Sasuke has been doing. If he has finally, finally uh, run into code and his people, the Kara group. Based on the fact that the previous Kara group has been dismantled. Except code. Um, we'll see if uh, we'll see if code has been planning his own stuff and also creating his own group. Forming his own little group, you know what I mean? I would like to see that. Breakthrough. I am a nameless side character. I wish, I wish they had the healing, a healing, a healing uh, jitsu ninja around. A healer, it could have helped. An exit. He found an exit. Mm. 
The door is closing. The gate is closing. Oh wow, this guy is pretty durable. Even if it is for a second, he is actually able to hold this door. They are getting through. So everyone is going to help Boruto? That wound is pretty deep. It's pretty, pretty deep there. That's that device, ear device. Hmm. They've surrendered him. I guess now we're going to find out the kind of guy Kisuru really is. Yeah, they should ask him because I believe he might have a way to get out of here since if he, if he does work for Olga, that means you should know the exit out of this place. Oh, he's doing hand, hand signs. He ran away. Wow. Can Olga still see them being down here? Watch out. Down here kind of reminds me when, um, what's his name? Itachi faced uh, Kabuto, Sage Kabuto. Back in the day, uh, Naruto Shippuden. It kind of gives you that feel of this place when Kabuto uh, faced uh, Itachi and a little bit of Sasuke there because Sasuke wanted to assist but Itachi told him to stay behind to not uh, interfere that he's gonna deal with this when he used watch out when he used um, Izanami on um, Sage Kabuto Ooh, got him. Oh, he's able to pull out those leeches. Hmm. Sui. Nice. You see how that Rasengan disappeared. 
I thought Boruto's Rasengan was a little more powerful than what he just uh, put out. I thought it was powerful than that. And meanwhile, Koaki, Mitsuki, and Sarada has run into somebody who they are currently after now. Hopefully, this person will lead them to this damn maze. Oh, well, they are kind of following um, an Anambu. Ooh. Wait a minute. I thought this Anambu Black Ops is working. Is the, uh, the Leafs. It's actually not the Leafs Anambu Black Ops. Yep, he's been wearing a mask this entire time. Very nice, Katsume. He's standing close to the water. Wait, that didn't do much to him? It did a it did a little damage, but not that much. Come on, Shimo. A scroll. I literally thought that these guys were shinobis or the hidden leaf shinobis ambo black ops. Although I don't see the hidden leaf headbands or anything, but That's what I'm saying. The uh, Leafs Ambu Black Ops. Oh, okay. Is a member of our investigative team. Oh, Kisiru is one of them. So, why did he kill? or scar the others the way he scarred them and left them to die
So that's a communication device he was using trying to contact his own people. So that means he must do what he must do in order to get back to his people. But he could have revealed that information to Boru to steal. They need to go separate them. And they need to go stop them from fighting because... Don't trust anything. And this means that he can never, if so, if he can never reveal his identity, that literally means that him and Baruta are probably gonna fight to death. This is not going to go well. This is not this is not gonna go well. This may end up if these guys don't get to them in time and let Boru to know, this might end up being um kill or be killed situation. Mm. That got to hurt. I would think that now that him and Boruto are alone. Oh, nice. Chumo got to them in time.
Come on, he shouldn't have. Come on, man. He shouldn't have hit Chomo with that. He should have held back. He should have held back. If Boruto was able to held back, he should have held back. Why did he have to hit Chomo with that? So if he's not the one who killed Wait, what now? He stopped Boruto with it? The maze is again Jitsu? What does that mean? He's going to what wait 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 if the maze is a genjutsu he's going to reload oh, and he's a he's a healer he's a medical ninja oh so that's what it is it's a genjutsu. So he released Boruto from it. Even the others are not dead. Or maybe they are because I see the lifelines are, are not moving anymore for the others. Wow, what a twist, guys. What a twist. A twist of situation there. Everything that's been happening so far, everything that's been happening from the moment Boruto was captured and he woke up, everything has been a Genjutsu situation. What a, what a, what a nice and interesting twisted Genjutsu. I mean, all this time so my question is those people that died in this thing are they still alive or are they actually dead dead that question i don't know but seeing how the lifelines were going for the others i feel like they may have lost their lives in this thing or they might still be alive somehow you know I guess we're going to find that on the next episode. But I was really, really hoping that this will be the last episode of this damn thing so that we can start looking forward to uh, Code Arc. But this episode holds information that kind of is starting to set the stage for Kara because those Ambu Black Ops said that uh, Kisuru was sent to investigate and also to investigate information on the Kara group. So he's looking for code as well. He was probably the only one who knew it was a Genjutsu and there, there's a way to work. So the eighth truth okay so now boruto is going to reveal the, that information to the others and we'll see if that will help them get out of this place or will the person who casted this genjutsu make things worse for everybody else including boruto but uh one thing i like about this episode is it does hold information on the arc that we are all expecting the next arc 
Kisuru was one of the Black, uh, Black Ops Ambu and he was sent to go investigate you know, do his own little investigation on Kara. Um, code name was not mentioned, but code is part of Kara. And uh, I've been saying that I wish that we could see what Sasuke has been doing, where he is, what is his, um, you know, next uh, phase, or how is he going with finding code and investigating code and everything. You know, I, we would like to see that, but slowly, slowly, things are slowly advancing towards that. On that note, stay safe, keep on keeping on. <laughs> Sweet.